Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. I hope you're all having a good New Year's and I want to start this year off with a bang. So today we will finally be testing out the jet engine that I've been working on for the last year and a half. You may have seen the little short that I dropped a couple months ago of me initially testing this thing, but I had a couple other things to work on before we can properly test it out. And so today we're going to be firing it up, hooked up to the load cell we used in the last video to see how much thrust it actually produces. You saw me put this thing together a second ago, but you didn't see the footage of me actually fabricating the combustion chamber itself. And that is because I lost it. I have the footage in the editor, but that's just proxy files, so we can't really use it, unfortunately. Um, so this is what we've got. With that being said, this is the important part anyways, so let's just get right into it. Before we do any actual real measuring, I just want to fire this thing up and make sure that everything's working the way it's supposed to. Um, I don't want anything going south on this. Mission. For our testing, I want to measure our baseline thrust of just the uh, supercharger. So then that way we can see how much thrust the combustion chamber is adding versus just having the blower pushing it. All right, we got that dual camera action going. Let's fire up our Arduino. There we go. All right, now all we have to do is turn on the supercharger. That's looking pretty good. So our ignition is fucking with the Arduino because every time I turn it on, the Arduino freezes. I was assuming because I have current running through the combustion chamber itself that it was getting to our guide rail here, touching to the load cell and then, I don't know, shorting something, messing with something, whatever. I electrical taped that. There's a piece of uh, tubing here. Like this thing should be insulated. Right? But still, I turn it on and my Arduino starts speaking Spanish. Like, what is that? Right? And then I hit the reset button. And it goes back to working fine. Oh, yeah. Is this thing just like, oh, you know what? I bet you this thing is like a high voltage transformer. So I put like six volts in there and on the other end, I don't know, I get like a hundred thousand or whatever, uh, whatever Amazon said it was. I bet you this thing is creating a magnetic field that's so strong that it's inducing current in my Arduino. And that's probably what's messing with it. So maybe I'll just put that thing in like a tube, like a metal tube to act like a Faraday cage. And then maybe we're good. I'll try that. All right, I'm gonna try that. Camera on. Arduino on. Ha! It worked! Let's go, okay, all right. Holy crap, dude. That's like two to three feet away. This thing was creating a magnetic field strong enough to affect my Arduino two to three feet away. All right, whatever, let's get into it.
Tell me that's not the sickest thing you've seen all day. Come on now. What the hell? That's a garage built jet engine. Oh! 153 grams of thrust. Holy shit! Woo! I did it! I did it! I did it! That's what's up! I did it! My friends, this is easily one of the coolest things I've ever built and I'm so glad you could join me for this experience. Now that we have a baseline for this thing, we can start hunting for new high scores. I'm gonna start messing around with new nozzles for this thing. Maybe next video, maybe the one after that. Subscribe so you don't miss it. And we'll build some new engines as well. Hope you guys have a great 2024 and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye